Welcome back to Potted Living, the show where we teach you how to grow all kinds of fruits and vegetables on your outdoor patio garden space. And here, as we all know, is my first season in Vancouver growing citrus. It is mid-January um, and it is pouring. Very typical for this uh, Pacific region. Seattle's very similar weather to this. We get a lot of rain. Uh, and the temperature stays around 8-ish degrees Celsius and overnight around 3 to 4. In December, we had one of the coldest winters on record snowfall here, which is rather unusual, and I had to bring these citrus inside. My goal was to leave them outside for the entire winter, but with the freezing temperatures, that was a no-go. It's now warm again, and as I mentioned, our daytime is about eight, seven, eight degrees Celsius, and our nighttime is about anywhere from two to five, and I'm seeing how the citrus are gonna survive. They're getting very wet, which I know usually leads to root rot, however, um, they're looking okay. I think they're okay. I've got really great soil that drains really well. And as you'll see, my citrus sprouted flowers while they were inside. They, they were inside just a little bit too long. It tricked them to thinking it was summer. And so they sprouted all these new leaves and flowers. But the really cool thing is, despite being outside now for a couple of weeks since the snow has fallen, they've more just kind of stalled. The flowers are just slowly opening. The roots are obviously cold. I am seeing some of those flowers turning into little fruits. We'll see if they hold. I really don't know. Might be too cold. My grapefruit sprouted a whole bunch of new leaves, which is really great to see. And even flowers down here at the bottom, which is awesome. And then of course my mandarin plants um, are looking really well as, as well. Now, losing a few leaves, as you can see down in the bottom. so. Not really sure if it's quite warm enough, but we are starting to slowly cruise out of the coldest time of year. And what I can say to everybody who's watching this channel, you may remember I overwintered these in the shower. By the end of winter, they came out feeling, looking absolutely tired and shattered. And here in Vancouver, being outside in the somewhat cold temperatures and the pouring rain, they just generally look happier. I read an article once online that says, here's a hint, citrus need to be outdoors. I'm starting to think that's true. You can overwinter citrus. It's challenging. Um, you need to have the right environments, the right type of greenhouse. But if for any reason you can keep them outside, they're not gonna look at tip top form, but they are gonna be overall happier. At least that's my experience here in Vancouver. I wanna know about your experience. Where do you live that is not citrus tropical and how are you dealing with growing citrus and what do your citrus look like leave me some comments down in the in the comments section let's chat let's share all of our citrus tips and tricks and i will follow up with another video to let you know if any of these flowers become fruit on any of these gorgeous citrus tree that i'm growing here just as a reminder mandarin grapefruit limequat and meyer lemon